from New York is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I yield four minutes uh, to my good friend and colleague, the gentleman from New York, Mr. Lalota. The gentleman is recognized. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding, uh, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let's add some honesty to the SALT conversation, Mr. Speaker. I'm from a blue state, and I am willing to concede to my red state colleagues especially that an increase in the SALT cap benefits blue states more than red states. There, I said it. After all, it's the blue states with the highest state income, sales taxes, and property taxes. At 10.9%, my state, New York, has the dubious distinction of having the highest taxes in this great nation of ours. But as bloated and out of control as my state's spending and taxes are, under one-party Democrat rule, it cannot be said truthfully that red states are subsidizing the blue states. The data demonstrates the opposite, actually that blue states like mine are giving far more to Washington than we get back. And the opposite is true, that many red states get far more from Washington than they give. As you can see from this chart, the home states of many of my Republican colleagues, shown in red, who say SALT is a subsidy to blue states, are in fact the states who get much more from Washington than they give, Mr. Speaker. Here on this chart, you can see that New York gets one of the worst returns on investment of our federal dollars. Blue line back down there. Yet many red states are the top of this list, and their taxpayers are getting much more from Washington than they're giving. Mr. Speaker, states like New York are not asking for a bailout. We're simply asking to break even. Many of my colleagues are correct to say a large part of the problem starts in Albany. Sadly, I live in that reality, and I know better than to rely on Albany Democrats to try and improve the lives of the average New Yorker. But why do you think so many are fleeing for, for my state, for states like Texas and Florida? It's not just for the weather, Mr. Speaker. Second, I want to address some serious intellectual dishonesty and rewriting of history by my Democrat colleagues. Mr. Speaker, Democrats had complete control of Washington for two years, the House, the Senate, and the White House. And yet, they never signed any SALT relief into law, even though they passed several massive omnibus and reconciliation bills. They failed their constituents and mine and embarrassed themselves and are now trying to blame blue state Republicans, even though we are clearly fighting tooth and nail to deliver some sort of relief. When they had majorities like the White House, why didn't Speaker Pelosi and New York's own leader Schumer take action to deal with this issue? Mr. Speaker, this is a political talking point for Democrats, but a serious policy item for me and my fellow New York Republicans. Restoring the SALT deduction is not just a matter of tax policy for Long Island families. It is a crucial step towards ensuring economic fairness, supporting the middle class, and sustaining vibrant communities. The lack of a meaningful SALT deduction hurts my constituents, and we must address this injustice. Since so many of my Democrat colleagues have been so passionate about this issue, I'm sure they will have no issues, Mr. Speaker, voting to advance this legislation and voting in favor of the rule. I urge all of my colleagues from both sides of the aisle to support the combined rule. I yield.